Hi guys, it's Jago Think here. Um, I want to do a quick video on uh, preparing to leave your job. I know I haven't quite decided what I'm going to call this post yet. Something along the lines of uh, be brave, quit your job, you know, get confident, stupid, quit your job, that kind of thing. Um, obviously, I did it about a year ago and I was very much in my uh, comfort zone and I'm not necessarily saying that this is the best way to do it um, it's partly how I did it but um, there be some things in there that I wish I had done um, which I didn't do and which caused a few issues uh, later down the line uh, in my personal life but um, it's uh, you know I won't delve too much into that um, but I'll pepper it with things that I wish I had done um, and they'll be mixed in between. So basically, um, I was a director of a company, um, a sort of uh, design company, um, and we specialized in 3D, 3D animation, and uh, landscape architecture, interior design, graphics, that kind of thing. And it was something that sort of, we grew the company out of a bigger, a bigger organization, a bigger architect's practice. And um, it, it, it sort of got to the point where I wasn't feeling um, I wasn't feeling creative anymore. So I needed to quit, otherwise it was going to kill me. Um, and the most important thing to do is to when you when you start to feel like that, the the you sort of you go through a whole stage of uh, well. You know, I'm not happy. Do I stick it out? You know, I just had a, a young family at the time. Um, you know, I think my daughter was two, um, and it was well. Do I stay safe and unhappy, or do I just pursue um, my goals and and kind of do a reset on my career? And I know a lot of people are feeling that way, and 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 you know, I know a lot of people that have, have been sat in that situation. Um, and are still in that situation now and um, they can't seem to find their way out um, or the risks are too great or or you know for a variety of reasons um, but basically I knew I wanted to work for myself I knew I wanted to be self-employed um, I didn't necessarily have the correct sort of uh, business acumen really I didn't think um, at the time to be able to do it but I thought well it's got to be better than being miserable all your life um, you know dealing with other personalities uh, things out of your control um, not having the ability to choose your own clients that kind of thing so I you know talked over with my family and, and, and it was agreed that we would sort of set aside um, set aside sort of six to eight months uh, income to, to see me through um, and it also helps to have someone to, there to support you unfortunately my wife at the time was was able to support me um, but we never managed with lots of other things going on we never managed to actually bank any of the money um, and you know I wasn't particularly going to be taking any clients because the type of clients I was dealing with at the time were large investment funds and they would never work with sort of individuals as a, as a safety precaution and um, without a backup team behind them so I thought well I wanted to get into more into sort of the branding side and all the rest of it so I just handed my notice in I, I sucked up the courage and I just did it um, and during the three months of my notice it was a complete panic um, a couple of important things that I, I, I now know that I did right was that I surrounded myself with people that had already done it and um, that had already been there they'd been sat in the corporate world sat behind a desk and um, not really in charge of their own destiny although some companies will make you feel as though that you are in charge of your own destiny but you're not you're in charge of the the balance sheet uh, the balance sheet is, is in charge of you just should I say um, they the it's all about the profit and if you can do something quicker uh, for more money then there's more profit for them um, and so I surrounded myself with um, 
people that had done it and been there and that had the confidence that have the confidence now you know later down the line um, to say to me you know it's worth doing you should go it there's no real right or wrong answer um, you should just do it anyway and you'll find your feet um, really good people always find their feet and they always succeed um, well at the time I wanted to sort of realign myself with sort of um, the spiritual side of the world um, and and the consciousness side and and projecting love and peace and all the rest of it and it all sounds a little bit you know fuzzy and a little bit wishy-washy but there is some truth in it and it and it's helped me uh, focus my energies and, and, and be able to hone out and, and choose uh, the right type of clients that are along my way of thinking um, I'm, I'm now not in it for the money I'm I'm a lot happier um, and my family obviously is a lot happier for it um, so I think my point is if you find yourself wanting to get out of your job and you're not necessarily unhappy with the people that you work with but more what direction you're trying to go in or what direction you're going in isn't the direction you want to be or you just feel in a rut or whatever whatever it is um, rebalance the uh, ratio between uh, people that have done it that haven't done it those around you sat around you in your desk in your office and you know your peers and stuff are all in comfortable jobs and stuff they'll always tell you to stick at it and stay and try and change the company from within um, I've tried that um, and as soon as I re sort of adjusted my sort of ratio from people that have done it to those that haven't um, my attitude towards it and my bravery level increased um, as I say I didn't know what I was doing I still don't know what I'm doing um, and but it's definitely 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 worth it um, it's scary to a point um, but you know what if you make some if, if money is your biggest priority uh, rather than freedom and, 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 and you know free up your headspace so that you can think clearly um, if money's the problem then look at your outgoings look at what you're spending your money on um, I shrank back everything I got rid of my big car all the rest of it I looked at the sort of um, the, the pros and cons of buying electric and you know how cheap that was um, I mean car costs now are like ridiculous I mean, I was running a Land Rover and it was like a fortune so you know running the Nissan now it's cheaper my mortgage is cheaper I've changed all my bills so outgoings are real at a minimum and then you end up living simpler um, and there's definitely some uh, weight behind when people say you know live simply uh, live better and it, it really is true um, if something doesn't you know if you don't need something get rid of it if you, if you sort of find yourself that you go oh I could do with the new iPhone or oh I could do with you know the latest gadget or whatever just think to yourself do you want it or do your ego want it um, are you trying to keep up with the you know with your mate and you know that's that's real childish shit um, so yeah be happy and uh, be happy by living simpler and you know it's not all about the nine to five um, there is security in your own destiny and being in charge of your own destiny is a lot of I get a lot of peace from that and uh, I hope you guys do too all right take it easy bye